Hello my friends, welcome back to Legacy of the Void Real Scale. We are heading to Purification, but before we do so, we need to head to the War Council. I asked people what army they wanted to see for this next mission, and people said they want the Vanguard. I held back on the Vanguard last mission because it generally has a lot of overlap with the Colossus, but if we're using Mr. Worm, I think that it's a good time for him. And you know what is awesome with the Vanguard? Energizers, so they're crazy fast. And same with the Reaver, honestly, because that sounds like a lot of fun. We're probably not going to be able to afford much more than that, so I'll just... Yeah, let's go Centurion, why not? Doesn't really matter. We can do whatever we need. And then we're going to jump right on into it. Reavers... How big are Reavers? I actually have no idea. They can't be that big, can they? But they're actually mobile factories. If you told me... I literally have no concept in my head on how big a reaver is. Interesting. <laughs> He's a big boy. Oh, this is exciting. I haven't thought about a unit that I just don't know how big it is. We gotta make one. Oh, we start with a lot of guys, huh? All right, so we're start gonna we're gonna start with the attack upgrades, of course, because they're incredibly powerful. Whoa, this is gonna be a mission and a half, isn't it? <laughs> they never, they never give you that much to start with when it's an easy mission, do they? Orca, Orca's not that nice of a person. He's a good guy. He's a very good guy, but he's not that nice. Okay, we're gonna have to. We have to get a move on. Let's move. Uh, just, uh, gas. Gas is what I want. There's some gas geysers over here. Destroy it, and power should begin to flow again. Let's see how good the vanguards are. Oh, they seem pretty good. This might have been a good choice. <laughs> we'll check out its damage in a moment. That range is pretty long. So the vanguard, what does it do? 20 versus medium, 16 attacks, 320 damage per volley, range 10, weapon speed 2.5. That is a heck of an attack, particularly because the majority of enemies in this campaign are medium. Like, there's a whole lot of them, particularly for Zerg. I guess they have a lot of small stuff as well. But what small stuff is going to be able to withstand even the, yeah, 200, not 240, uh, 200, whatever. I'm not going to do that math on stream. <laughs> I'm not streaming. I'm not going to do that math on a video. Oh no, I'm going to have to do that math now. <laughs> Either way, let's get some reavers and let us go. Uh, we need gas. We need gas. We need to keep warping in these little duders. And then we have to be very wary of what is coming. I think I'm going to get a couple more shield batteries over here. Just because... I want it to be symmetrical, but more powerful. And then I might get a Kaidaren Monolith. Yeah, Monolith sounds like it'd be pretty good. Maybe... Oh, where's a good... De oh, look at that. There's more defense up there. Cool. Very cool. So first thing to do is defend this attack without being the dead. Oh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your yeah, cards are pretty good. <laughs> they're, a, they're a very useful unit. How much is a Reaver? 500, 308 supply. That seems pretty fair. I mean, I don't know how good it is at shooting the gun, but it's a Reaver. So what I'm thinking of is maybe right here. I'm going to put some Kaidaren monoliths. Because that'll allow them to defend this area and this area, and in this campaign they're not garbage. Isn't that exciting? So I don't know how many Reavers I'm going to need. I'm paying a lot for it, so it's got to be pretty darn good, right? There's no way that they give you a bad unit when they charge that much. Daylom aren't scammers. They're not like fake tech support or something. Let's, uh, just get some of these going. And our friend is almost awake. Okay. How big is a reaver? It's gotta be pretty big. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty big. A mobile factory compared to the size of a man? Yeah. I can... 
I can. <gasps> it's a mobile factory. It's a mobile factory. What? Configure this reaver to produce a free probe every 12 seconds. A free sentinel every 50. What? Stop attacking me. I'm busy being dismayed. A sentry fabrication. Make a sentry. Instigators. Reavers. What? Oh, that's so cool. What? What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. And it's still 500 damage. <laughs> Okay, so it just, it makes robot units for free over time. This is the coolest unit. Okay, um, we need to get the defenses up here. I need to make sure that I don't die to this, but I guess I, I guess I know how this is going to go. We're making reavers and then we're setting them up to fabricate. What an amazing design. Oh, I'm so happy. I love real scale, man. Like every single time that I'm like, yeah, there's no way that Orca is even better than this. He's just like, yeah, I am, bro. And then he is even better than that. <sighs> what a cool thing. And it's like the lore of the, the, the game. Let's see how much damage they do. You're going to be instigators. Fire. <laughs> It does just kill it all. It's even got a little thing over it when it's like switching. That's cool. Oh no, it always has the thing over it. That's all right. That's perfect. Then I, you can always know which one you have so you can get the right balance going. Let's produce. I don't know. Let's produce is such a weird catchphrase, but you know what? I love it. All right, we're going to get the double Kaidaran Monolith. And it's 16 range, which means that it does hit this side, but not this side, unfortunately. And then over here, maybe we can't afford two of them because of how big they are. They are pretty big. Eh, we'll try it anyway. I'll regret my decisions later. You're going to build Sentinels. We're gonna have a well-balanced breakfast here, boys. Let's uh see how good all this stuff is. So the instigator is the guy that can blink like infinity times, right? It seems pretty good. And we're just gonna keep getting a legion of factories to produce for us. And the sentries are doing the shield regeneration thing, making my army more durable. Here's the instigator. It blinks one, two, three times. I love that it's purifier stuff. Very neat on that regard. It's not all purifier, of course. And this is... Goodbye. This is what I'm afraid of. I'm going to shield overcharge right now. Make sure that everything is safe and sound. And I wonder how big the errant dude is up here. The rogue. Oh, he is a chungus! Oh gosh, he's got 14,000 HP. He's chunkier than a battle cruiser. What is happening? Oh, no, the Reaver is not that durable. I should have Guardian Shielded. Pew. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there's a base here. I will see the Solarite is recovered properly. So we're going to get a giant army, though, right? Oh, hello. I'm going to make sure that I'm not going somewhere dumb. Uh, you can be instigators. And then I guess there's a lot of scary stuff, and it doesn't matter because we can make it rain, and we have reavers. And it is just... It is just a powerhouse of a composition. Exponentially. It's working. And then the purifiers are going to make a huge army, right? How big is it? I am Executor Clolarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Clolarian, your deeds Does it warp in during the cutscene? I hope so. Cease your yeah. Adjuration. Why do you seek the purifiers? Brothers, you were created to protect the Empire. You could do better. But we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you. There we go. 
<laughs> Two Colossus. That's so much. What a sweet army. Dude, this guy is gonna just he's gonna clolar the entire world. Everyone's gonna be like, what's that? And I'm gonna be like, that's the purifiers. What are they doing? They're clolarium. Oh, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Three, two, one. Goodbye. <laughs> Is that a good use of my resources? Yeah, it was, because it was cool. Uh, I'm tired of pretending that it's not. So if I make a bunch of sentinel, like, <laughs> look at them, they're just murdering. How much does the fire do? It's huge. The fire is so big. <laughs> okay, let's get some of these guys over here, and then where's the probe that made it? Yeah, we gotta get some gas geysers, and make sure that we're still building stuff over here. I'm kind of going full sentinel mode because I feel like just having sentinels in the front is really good, and then reavers. I probably would like to get a couple of the sentry guys now that I think of it, though. What? He's losing! Phoenix! <laughs> your your friends are bad! Get new friends! Are you serious? He lost! He legitimately got crushed! We're gonna have to give him, like, shield overcharge or something. That's why there's a base over here, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, I think I was switching people's configurations there for a sec. I don't want to do that. Oh, I can't tell who's configured in. So, you're configured... But you can press the button to switch. Okay, we'll do that. And then if it doesn't have an icon there, it's not configured yet. Yeah, I think we're going no more instigators. I accidentally hit instigators for, like, everybody. Oh, that's bound to M, but M is for move. Easy fix. Easy fix. Are you stuck? No. Yes. You don't fire fast, do you? There we go. All right, I love this. This is such a cool unit. I really, like when we were doing Wings of Liberty real scale, for example, let's be honest, the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop, the uh, greatest of the greatest was all about the capital ships. But all the ground Protoss stuff has been super neat. Did he send another attack? <laughs> he needed wave two. That's awesome. Hey, at least he sends it. You know, it's better to ask for reinforcements than it is to die a fool. Grandma always used to say. Let's get this and slowly move up with our guy. Honestly, these Reavers are pretty fast. <laughs> They're not even like the sluggish boy that we all know. I need some anti-air. Oh, apparently the Dragoon got nerfed, so its anti-air range is only really long against uh, big flyers. Not, like, super tiny ones. Because the idea is that the Adept is supposed to be the one that you want to use. Or the Stalker. Those are supposed to be more viable against these small units. But it's not going to matter, is it? I'm going to shield overcharge because I'm dying. And there's a big attack that's hitting my main. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, Reavers. Let's go. Vipers are huge, by the way. How does a Mew to turn into that? Okay, there the blinding cloud is just sizable. It is too sizable. Thankfully, the Reaver has 600 600 and four base armor, so it doesn't really care. Get another sentry configuration. There we go. Some of the clouds are starting to part. We're going to be able to go. I think I need to zoom out a little bit so we can see all this air stuff. And then this area is one that can get kind of bad. That is... You do not want to go air on this mission, huh? The game is making you very aware of that. I, I don't like this one bit, Jimmy. 
I do like that button, though. I gotta say, someone is gonna decide to go time warp the entire time in real scale, and they're missing out. What is this? Oh, three mutalisks. Oh, no. These are actually really good. I'm really happy with them. I'm gonna try that in the regular game. I don't think they have the range for it. 13, 16. Oh. Might just be a good place to put them. It might be that the unit is just not good enough in the base game, but I learn a lot of things in these weird runs, and then I try to bring them into the fold of my normal spectrum of play. So I'm hoping that can be one of them. So one thing I'm learning about the Reaver, incredible unit. Oh, don't die. It's It has a hard time fitting places, because there's... Well, it's probably because I want like 15 of them. <laughs> They take up a lot of space. The Colossus fits really well with an army. I'm pretty sure these two vanguards have done like half of my damage. Let's go some more vanguards. Whenever I get more free supply. Why not? Make it rain for the finale of this mission. I just, I was planning on building a balanced composition. And I just, I discovered the Reaver and I hope you don't mind that... I just knew what- Oh my god! <laughs> There's so many! Save me. Please. Guardian shield. Oh. No energy! I lost like 40 supply here. That's actually hardcore. We got all of this. We can pull back. The purifier is lost again. Dark Colossus. Spooky. He <laughs> moved into my base. Alright. We have a little bit left to go. We're gonna get some Robros. I like that they send the extra waves. It's actually pretty cool. It feels like a living, consistent thing that they're constantly working towards, which is nice. Even if they don't make progress. I think it's actually cooler than them just being able to cleave through in one thing, right? Like, they're, if attack waves come from here, they get partially whittled down, they'll take this out, but then I get to deal with partial things instead of just nothing. It's an interesting idea, and I think it arose not as, like, a intentional thing, but a holy crap, they got bobbed, so I need to make them send more guys thing. But that's how a lot of interesting and cool innovations that improve things happen, is from... Com completely, like, not third party, but other circumstances arise and then you have to work with them and you can come up with a better solution. These guys are gonna die. Save me, Reavers! Thank you. Let's just put that Reaver shot right... Oh, well, no, the Vanguard is doing 138 kill Vanguard! He's stuck! He's stuck! He's my static defense now! <laughs> That's amazing! Uh, let's keep going nice and slow. We're making the pain rain go down the drain. It's hard to see with all these corruptors here, but it's okay because they don't actually do anything. Let's just uh, click that. There it goes. And we'll head back and take down the last one. The Reaver is truly a unit. I kind of want to pull all these back. I just want to, like, take stock and figure out how much my units actually did. Not to gloat, just to understand what was good and what wasn't. 11, 23, 5, 46, 35, 24, 2, 12, and 15. However, yeah, so none of them got a huge number of kills, but I think they all did quite a good job in, because they're producing as well. And then the vanguards, most of them are pretty new, but the one that is old has 139 kills. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> they're Reavers now? How <laughs> they're making armies? 
<laughs> well, they just saw my reefer. They're like, I can do that too, see? We are reformed. Let's go win the mission. Oh, we got fungled. Still not a problem. Okay, let's go. Uh, that was fun. What an amazingly cool unit. It's super neat. That's awesome. Cybros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Oh, you see those instigators blink micro? What legends? Them to the last. That was a fan service shot for the Colossus right there. I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. You gotta have Cybros land. All right. That was a fantastic mission. The next mission that we're going to is Slain where we are going to get the Void Ray. Now, what could we possibly do on Slain? Oh, by the way, the reason that we're going to Slain is because the carrier mission just isn't quite ready yet. Orca asked me to go to these two first, so there is no choice there. We have a whole new tier. Spirvidune automatically repairs damage mechanically as five lives plus 2% of the unit's maximum life per second. Ooh, that scales very well. Guardian Shell is Guardian Shell. Matrix Overload seems like Matrix Overload, but doesn't affect capital ships. All right, everything seems to be in order here. However, I think it might be time to give Warp Harmonization a try because we finally have enough big things to make it worthwhile. And then maybe a little bit of Reconstruction Beam, you know, and... We're gonna be on the Void Ray mission. We might need to look at capital ship cost, you know? Let's just, let's just, there, there's always one mission in Legacy of the Void where you just make a bunch of Void Rays and kill everything, right? So it's gotta be this one. The scout! Okay, we're going scouts. We're going, we're going Void Ray scout. It's gonna be great. Anti-matter missiles, doesn't matter what they do. Uh, can attack ground with photon black dang, dang straight they can yeah increased cost oh no yeah we're gonna go we're going scout void ray the scouts are gonna scout the void rays are gonna void and it's gonna be awesome all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode i'm really hyped to go to slain i'm really hyped to go scout void ray what a sweet life this has been i love real scale legacy of the void and i hope you're enjoying it too i will see you tomorrow i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day peace